the experiment is based on am envelope deduction so here for the envelope deduction we are going to give the amplitude modulated signal as input to the circuit so the am input is first fed to the diode the diode is uh, oa79 so here we have the positive and the negative terminals of the diode so the diode is connected to the rc charging network so first the am signal when it is positive the diode will be forward biased so when it is forward biased the diode will conduct the output of the diode will be fed to the charging network so during the positive cycle the capacitor will be charged every peak will be getting charged and it will be discharging through the resistor so the output will be simply following the am input the positive cycle so we are going to get the perfect uh, message signal or the demodulated output at the oscilloscope in the negative half cycle the diode will be reverse biased or it will be uh, completely open so the diode will not conduct so this is how the am input will be demodulated using a envelope detector circuit so this is a simple working of a am envelope detector so now let us see the settings for the uh, am generation the input signal am generated signal the message signal and the carrier signal setting the message signal frequency is a low frequency signal which is uh, taken as 100 hertz the modulation depth can be chosen as 50 percent the carrier signal will be a high frequency signal which is a 19 kilohertz frequency amplitude around 5 volt peak to peak so this is the setting which will be used in the am signal generation now let us see the breadboard connection so first the am signal this is the am signal whose positive is given to the diode here the positive of the am input is given to the positive of the diode and from the negative we are connecting a 10 kilo ohms resistance to the ground and a 0.1 microfarad capacitor to the ground so this is a very simple connection for the am envelope deduction so now let us see the uh, function generator settings so coming to the function generator so here let us first uh, set the carrier signal so the carrier signal is a simple sine wave so the simple sine wave frequency and the amplitude setting we can give the amplitude setting we can choose amplitude which is 5 volt peak to peak 5 volt peak to peak and uh, the frequency let us choose it as 19 kilohertz so this is the, this is the setting for the frequency and the amplitude of the carrier signal the offset is 0 millivolt and uh, to generate the modulated signal we need the message and the modulation depth for the am signal so for that we can choose the am modulation type modulation type as am and uh, the frequency of the message to be 100 hertz so we can choose the frequency as 100 hertz and the modulation depth to be chosen as 50 percent so this will generate the modulated signal with the carrier frequency or the internal frequency as 19 kilohertz and uh, the modulation depth as 50 percent so this modulation this button should be enabled to generate the am modulated signal and we know that uh, the in order to uh, receive the signal properly from the waveform, genera uh, waveform generator or the function generator this on off button should be enabled for the signal reception so this is fed as input to the diode positive of the diode and the negative probe is grounded so this is the input which is fed to the am detector circuit so to observe the signal in the oscilloscope so now we have connected two channels so channel one we have connected the input am signal channel two is the output demodulated output so here we can give press auto scale and slightly adjust the message and the, the modulated signal and the output signal so here we observe the am modulated signal in the channel 1 and the demodulated signal in the channel 2 so here we can see that the message signal is exactly matching with the envelope of the am signal so here we can slightly adjust in order to exactly match 
the envelope of the AM signal along with the demodulated output. So this is how we demodulate the AM signal. So we can simply measure the demodulated output using the measure option. Using the measure option, we can measure the peak to peak amplitude and the frequency and the time period of the received message signal. So, so the message signal frequency is nearly 99.5 hertz. So which is nearly equal to 100 hertz, which is being set in the function generator. Okay, it is matching with the input message frequency. 